Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum version. In this part, we are going to go do some more exploring. This is an optional side questy video. Um, you know, actually the past, the last video was optional. You actually never have to go on Cycling Road. You can just retrace your steps and go all the way back around. I mean, I don't recommend it because it takes longer, but you don't technically have to go on the cycling road. And this part that I'm doing today is also optional, along with the next part I'm going to do tomorrow. Or, not tomorrow, but next time I get a chance to record, will also be an optional video, so yippity yay yay. Anyways, right when you enter, do not pass this little tree. There will be an item here which can be of use. It is a PP up. How do I know that? Because I just played this literally 20 minutes ago, and I know everything about this video. Ooh, and I'm getting text messages. Okay, um, this is our new team member, by the way, you guys. Gligar. Yes, I'm um, sorry, I'm texting. But yes, this is a Gligar. It's a really good Pokemon. Some people were recommending, on it, uh, recommending I use Skaroopy. I thought about it, and then I decided Gligar would be like, oh my god, Gligar. So I'm going with Gligar. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not narrating you guys. This is so unprofessional. But yes, I'm, I, heal, I weakened it down, I'm using a heal ball, because I didn't want to go all the way back and uh, go get it. And honestly, it's because I'm only home alone for about an hour today. So, and to make one of these videos takes more than an hour. So there you guys have it, bam, new sidebar. We have a Gligar. Bow down to my awesomeness, you guys. It might not be quite proportionate, but I can edit the, the size of the picture uh, in the next video. Um, yeah, he's too big. <laughs> I'll edit that next time. So yeah, Gligar, what do you guys think? You guys like it? I mean, only one more spot left. What could it be? What could it be? And I know uh, Zubat and Gligar are really similar, but... At the same time, they're not, because one of them's a flying type, and one of them's, well, actually, Gligar is a flying type, but one of them's a poison type, and even though Gligar looks like he'd be poison type, I mean, he's got a stinking scorpion tail. He's not. Oh man. Oh man. What else can I say? It's hard to think of things to text when I'm narrating because I gotta keep focusing on narrating. But yeah, oh yeah, that's an item we saw in the last video. It's a burn heal. Use to heal, heal burns, as the title explains. A dark dar. Um, gotta think. I'll make them respond. How's that? <laughs> Say a little short phrase. I do that sometimes. I don't know. Uh, you can't pick these plants because it's, uh, I don't know. It's the evening while I recorded this, so that's why everything's kind of not dark, but not really lit up. Yes. I don't think I even mentioned that, but in this game, this is a little late, but as the day goes on, the, po the scenery changes, and that some and Pokemon change, like, you'll find more different kinds of Pokemon in the night, some different kinds in the morning, and, yeah. I don't technically know if this counts as night, I don't think it does, but it's just a warning that night's coming. I think night begins at 8 o'clock, but I'm not sure. Please.
So yes, this is the area they would want you to go to, but as the one hiker to the left over there said, you there's a second entrance. Now this is a secret, and if you're playing Diamond and Pearl, you cannot do this yet. But if you're playing Platinum, like me, you can do this. It's a secret, and it's just it's for an item. Or you can get a special Pokemon in here, which I'm not going to do, because I don't want to get a 16 member already. That'd be like really, really painful to level up, okay? Because that's one thing. If I had two team members, this game would be so easy. But if I have six, this game's going to be hard. And I want six, because full team's more fun than little team. Uh, Anyways, I switched uh, Mystics up front right there, because I that Onyx killed... No, that Geodude. God, that Geodude killed two of my guys. It was not fun. Err. Anyways, these ramps right here, they are annoying, to say the least. Especially... Okay, how to do this cave, you need to have your bike, which is uh, a given, really. You can't do this without a bike. But you need to have a Pokemon level 20, 21 or higher. It's the best way to do it, okay? Because right now, I have Mystics up front, but he's only level 20. So that means I keep on running into random encounters because Repel only blocks Pokemon weaker level than you, so that sucks. And as you can tell, it gets really annoying, because once you run into a random encounter, your bike stops, and you need to have momentum going over each of these jumps. Which I did that time, but another random encounter! Ugh, why am I leaving this one in? I must have been raging. I think, uh, he, le he leveled up right there. No, no he didn't. Never mind. I gotta hit him myself. He levels up on the next one, I believe. I'm not sure. Alright, what you want to do here is not go down too far, so just go down to the very bottom of this so you can kind of... Oh, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I already knew that happened, but still. Urgh, rage. Yes, make sure you have plenty of repels to come in here. You will rage, I promise. This is like, what the heck, I don't have any repels? And I was like, oh wait, I'm in the medicine's pocket. Whoops, sir. Alright, now let's try this again, shall we? This time, I hope we can get it. Ups a daisy, ups a daisy, ups a daisy, yep. Oh, okay, okay, now, oh, I jumped it. At least you can redo your jump right here. Um, if you're, in case you're wondering, I did mention there was a new Pokemon you can find in here that is not available until much later, I think even post-game, of Diamond and Pearl. And that Pokemon is a Gbite, which is the most overpowered Pokemon, disputedly. It's not necessarily the strongest, but it is arguably the strongest Pokemon in-game. And when it evolves fully to a Garchomp, which is actually an Uber. If you Wi-Fi battle, you know what that is. And it, it's, it's really, really good. Really good Pokemon. If you have, like, two members, I really recommend you get it. It's a very, very powerful Pokemon that can sweep. So, but I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm texting again, I'm sorry. At least this part's easier, there's no messing up, you die. So, yeah. Items. Not very useful rare candy. Uh, sorry, I'm not very in informative. Uh, you, I don't. I don't like what I just texted. So I'm gonna erase everything I have right now, just because I'm so thoughtful to you guys, but I'm not going to be too thoughtful and not even write anything. This is just a really annoying puzzle. It's not. It does take some skill. 
it's something different, you know, there isn't really these kind of puzzles in Pokemon games very often, and it's fun, and this is probably the most intricate one I've ever seen in any game, so I like it, it's not just a strength puzzle, it's a bike puzzle, which I've never seen, which is, all, which is always fun. Uh, like a pirate, there we go, that's what I just said, you all know what I said! Anyways, there was the TM. It is Earthquake. Probably the most overpowering move in the game, arguably. It doesn't hit flying types or a Pokemon with the ability Levitate, but other than that, it basically kills everything. And what do you know, our new teammate can use it. Fang, you're so useful already. You haven't even fought yet, and I already love you. So, his moves right now. Well, oh, knock off. Uh, I should mention this. Knock off is a move that does not do much damage, but it makes the uh, uh, opposing Pokemon drop their item. So, like, say they have leftovers equipped, they won't have leftovers anymore. Uh. Yes, so that was the entire purpose of this entire part. I know. I'm so I'm so good to you guys. So yes, comment and like the video. Please subscribe. And I would like you guys to know this. I don't make these videos in advance for Pokemon Platinum because they kind of take a little bit of work and I don't have time anymore because it's cool. So these videos are made when I could be doing homework. Or, no, I don't care. Uh, I, have, I have plenty of time to do homework after this. I mean, right now... At all the time I spent since I've got home and since I've sat down and worked on this, it, it will have been a little bit less than an hour. So that just goes to show how much time it takes to do a part. So, yeah. Comment, like the video, please. Subscribe. Uh, what else? Uh, Halloween? Oh my god, that's a thing. 